Hey. Oh, hang on, hang on. The room model has been updated. If you, yeah, it's fine. I have to admit that looks awesome. That's a really clean front screen. I'm so excited to be back. It's been a while since I last played RimWorld. I'm not even messing about. Let's get in. Right, new colony. Right, we have got a new thing, so we are going to pump into this. So the anomaly. Your research expedition has finally arrived at the source of uh, a signal. An ancient architect metal law. Dyslexia. On a distant planet. As you survey the structure from orbit, the scanner scanner's audio feed forms gargled which repeat your own name over and over. Yeah, um I'm not sure if there's any new storytellers, but anything new we are clicking on it. This is just the new scenario, so we're gonna go straight into it. Your crewmate screams as her flesh begins flowing and reforming. A blinding beam of energy reaches up from the planet and tears your research vessel apart. You have disturbed something ancient and inhuman. So we start with we start with one ghoul and two colonists. That's interesting. We start with security door and a battery. Anything new in here? So twisted meat is new. I wonder if that's what the ghoul needs to eat. A holding platform, a proximity detector, textbook, tome, pump shotgun, but that's fine. Two turrets straight off the bat. Interesting. Bio ref I'm guessing that's a new resource that we're going to need for some of the juicier stuff. The map. Oh, that's a nice addition. I'm sure it doesn't normally say that, but I could be wrong. Map is scattered with 700 steel and uh, five ship chunks. Okay. So no new storytellers. I think I'm probably going to go for Clossandra. I don't want to go too hot under the collar and not be able to enjoy the stuff without being like stressed. Let's get the classic standard. There's only one world. Tazastical. Mountainous. Okay, I'm just going to jump in here. Then marble and granite is fine. Marbles. Hello, hello. Marbles pretty beautiful. We always come in here. And we go one more, just because bigger is better. So, we got the Ritualist as a new one, and Inhuman is the other one. Humanity is a barrier to our connection with the Machine God, and it's pleasurable. Let me repeat that. Pleasurable rewards. So, what does this mean we have to do, then? Physical love is free. Don't care about eating pace. Cannibalism is acceptable. Okay. So like a transhumanist that eats people. We're going to go back and we're going to hit one of the default ones. So we are going to go void followers. I feel like considering we're going everything for new. That's cool. Ah, do you know what? It's been so long. Since I started a new colony, it feels very, very good. So first of all, so this is the ghoul, because we start with two normal people and one ghoul. If I randomize, will you still be a ghoul? You will. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Apparently a permanent mood. I don't know how that's going to work. It's like having a tamed cougar or something. I think tough is fine. Kind? We've got a kind ghoul. Does that work? Imagine a tough brawler ghoul. That is very good. Hannah Smash Tentacle. We're happy with that. <laughs> oh, it's much a fun starting colonies on Twitch than it is on my own, just laughing at my own bad jokes. Right, we've got Careful Shooter, which I used to actually really like Careful Shooter, but I actually think it's a bit rubbish. Just Stevie. I'll just I'll put a full stop, so then it like dismisses them. Okay, I'll grab food and return. Return. Right, and then our ghoul. We need a name for our ghoul. I've got some uh, Maltesers. They are the crunchiest chocolate I've ever had in my life. The ancient... Blah, unleashed an energy pulse that tore your research vessel apart and mutilated your crew. Only a few of you made it to the escape pods. Despite the setback, your mission is far from over. If you can learn more about the bull, perhaps you can find a way to shut it down or 
harness its inhumane power. <laughs> I'm hyped for this game. If you're hyped for this game, like, subscribe. You want to see me live? Catch me on Twitch. Bye. That was me. I didn't pay a voice actor to do that. That was all just raw, vibrant talent that you heard just then. Uh, so meditation is artistic. It seems like it's going to be artistic for all of them then, right? Yeah. That's fine. All right, anything new? It all looks reasonable for now. Then we've got our ancient danger there. Uh, plus steel. And if you see anything, want me to have a look at anything, then just shout and I will do so. Uh, our religion is pain is virtue ritualist. I thought there was another one. So we like pain. Pain is good. We research very slow. Research work is unworthy of serious respect. Better not be seen trying too hard at it. Oh, I should get that on a t-shirt for my life. Void study. The void is the ultimate truth. Okay. Comfort. We don't care about comfort. Connecting with psychic flows brings us closer to the truth. Involved in psychic ritual plus one. No psychic ritual for six days. We then get a minus three. Hey, I'm not totally crazy. And then cutting, brawl, headpieces. We love cats. Okay. So, let's... Oh, what's that? Proximity detector. What does that do? A scanner capable of detecting invisible creatures. The device raises an alarm when it detects the presence of... S You're having a la. You're having a la. The holding platform. Apparently there's invisible creatures now. A platform for holding dangerous entities. The corners have eyelets where strong chains can be attached. Downed entities can be captured and secured on a holding platform where they can be studied for research. Sorry for knowledge. Just added a word that wasn't there. Increase containment strength by building strong walls and doors and other special containment devices. Let's have a look at the goal. He has no needs. It just literally looks like an animal. So I'm actually glad we got the tough. Kind and the permanent mood boost doesn't do anything, but tough does, especially how I use melee people, which is not correct. We have twisted me. I'm not sure if there's a difference between normal meat this has to eat. Movement speed 0 0.6. I wanted to see... So the melee is not amazing. Mortar miss radius. That's interesting. I wish that had been in there more. So you can actually see what's going to happen. But yeah, diet, raw meat and corpses. Oh, we got... Oh, that's a hobbit door. Don't even at me. That's a hobbit door. I'm very curious about the invisible creatures, though. That makes me um slightly nervous. Not really sure how to deal with that. It's going to be fun. I have to admit, I like the new enemies. I hope we've got the DPS to be able to beat these enemies, because obviously on 500% difficulty, it's sometimes not going to lie, it's fun getting into this knowing nothing. That's why I've avoided reading any of the things, looking at any of the things. I even avoided looking at the trailers or anything. I literally knew the theme of the DLC. Let's go to speed two as we're doing this. And then left it like that. And then chuck that there. I suppose the end tables won't do anything for us, will they? What power have we got up? Got wind turbines. Would like to get research up. Quick, 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 but... It's going to be a slow progress. Um, I mean, lessons. I imagine oh, it needs power, so it doesn't matter too, too much. We have these textbooks. Handbook details. Benefits. Artistic. Are these equippable? 
can read it. Read Claydon's research on marksmanship. Oh, okay. And then we got the shadows. It's an essay. Okay. But if we read it, we have a mental break chance. Okay. Interesting. Right, let's have a look at needs. Flesh tentacle minus six. Oh, get this thing off me. Oh, jeez. Not happy about that. And Steve is loving life. Stevie. Just Stevie. The problem is, is Smash... Remind me what this is. Yeah, so Smash is the tentacle, but is the better shooter. So let's equip shotgun. Stevie, remind me you've got melee. Did we not start with a knife or anything? Does not look like it. I have to build my kill boxes like this, otherwise everyone on YouTube shouts at me, even though I, you don't really need to build it like this. A wear- oh, hang on, hang on, gear. You've got a turret pack. A wearable pack that allows the user to deploy a battery-powered turret. The pack contains a propulsion device letting the user launch the turret a short distance. These turrets are effective for flanking and distracting enemies. However, the turret's limited AI can't be directly controlled, so it can cause friendly fire incidents. The turret battery lasts for several hours. That's actually really, really good. And the reason why it's very, very good is because I feel like you're going to need a bit of extra DPS to deal with stuff. So to obviously do that. So I'm getting the kill box probably up a little bit quicker than I should. But obviously I'm just being a little bit of a nervous Nelly. We do need to get food up. Is that all? Is that all growable? Grabbing a laugh. Grabbing a laugh. Uh, let me sort out. Right, let's get that growing. Crunchy's just chilling. Can I directly control Crunchy? That's handy. And then we do... So it's going to take me... I believe this is one of the mods, but I'm not 100% sure. Right, rename... Oh, no, I want this as hide. Hidey ho. So then if we get attacked, we can hide. Keep that door. Oh, and you do need to claim. I always forget to do that. Because if you don't claim it, enemies can just literally walk straight through. It doesn't act as locked or anything like that. And plus, a lot of this is damaged, so at least we can repair that. And run Cassandra, so we know Cassandra attacks us, what, on average of every... Is it four to six days or something like that? And then we do need to sort out the ritual spots and stuff like that. Any new things in here? So we have got a new... Nothing currently buildable in this category. Interesting. Just totally kicks us out. I'm have a look at needs and I'm gonna... I feel like pain security door. A heavy reinforced door is slow to open, requires electricity, but it's very strong. It's a good choice if you want to keep something dangerous out or in. The door requires walls on either side to function. This is normally how I start, where I don't actually start numbering people yet. I just get stuff done. Especially with two people, I just want everything done, really. There's not, like, one thing that's more important than the others at this point. We will have to go hunting. To make sure we have food for old Crunchy over there. Okay, check this outside. We're just going to start to make blocks. So basically the plan is going to be we're going to make an outside spot over here where not only we can expand this base, but then obviously build our wind turbine that we can protect a little bit. Uh, we'll go back to a granite boy, even though it takes a long while. For the time being, just build a hundred. Just always have a hundred, yep. It's craft, isn't it? Put you on craft if you're not doing anything else. And then that's us done. Then we'll start building stuff out of marble just for that, you know, the beauty, the little, little sparkle in your eye that you need in your life just to know, you know, everything's going to be all right. I'm interested to see the first couple of attacks if they're exactly the same on um, Cassandra. Another reason why I wanted to do um, 
Lasanja just because then sort of know what you're going to get and I would like to see what the what the normal game is going to be like. I do believe we did start with batteries. Anything good in here? So we've got all our books and whatnot. Nothing interesting to buy though. Well, jump packs. Okay. Is that moving? Just in her sleep, it's just like, oh, imagine trying to sleep and one of your arms is just like swashing around. Oh. Picture my tentacle. Picture my tentacle. Don't picture my tentacle. It's nothing I never ever thought I'd like shout down a microphone, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be real with everyone right now. A wave of dread passes over your colonists. The fallen monolith has begun to stir. Slowly it begins to twist and rearrange itself, morphing into something new. Within a matter of days, the process will be complete. Be prepared for whatever comes next. This thing. Oh, we have to investigate this. I just thought this was a building. Okay, so twisting lines carved into the surface form a disturbing pattern. Investigate to learn more. So how is there a skill? I imagine it's going to probably be intellectual. Both of us are really good. So, no, not deploy turret. That's very aggressive. Choose who should do this. Smash. A smash! Okay, now I can see the effects now I've gone in. Okay. The monolith's dark metallic surface is warm to the touch, and Smash thinks she can hear a faint hum emanating from the inside. The lines on its dusty surface seem to squirm in unsettling patterns. Smash focus on the shapes, trying to uncover their meaning. The hum strengthens. The shape begins to flow and smashes vision, but the surface isn't changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. A black shape is forming in her mind. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be me if I walked away. Let's be honest. Keep focusing. The ground's breaking. Whoa! Okay. As the monolith twisted and changed, Smaff was overcome with a horrifying vision. In an instant, she understood. The monolith is a doorway, just barely cracked open now. Why did we open it? Something dark beyond imagination stirs on the other side, seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, Smash is convinced she can learn more if given the time to study the monolith. So this is now... We can now build some stuff. They added the Neva to Rimworld. View... Quest. So we've discovered two out of eight. The monolith seems to have... Level. Toggle study. View all discovered entities. Oh, here we go. And these are all the entities. Ultimate. So we've got a ghoul. See, some of these look like they might be weather conditions, question mark. Not just enemies, because some look like, like these look like monsters, but... I mean, it could be anything, couldn't it? We've already discovered a ghoul. And we did get new building things. Just a holding spot. A spot for holding dangerous entities. That might be something we need to... Okay. Must discover six or more basic monolith entities. Right, now we've got Stevie has become completely untethered from reality ranting about impossible subjects she will snap out of it in a few hours was driven into a mental break after reading kimmy's shadows so the book that we had the shadow book she read from that and has had a breakdown 
A blanket of gritty fog has descended on this area. The fog smells ancient somehow, and it stings the skin. The unnatural greyness of it invokes a sense of dread. And we can sort of see the fog that's come in now. All hail the glow crowd. Okay, I'll be honest. You're like... Getting a lot of horror vibes. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Can we build our defenses up, please? A mad iguana. First combat. Well, I need to protect Stevie because Stevie's having a breakdown. Um, I wouldn't normally... This thing looks straight out of a mod. It looks amazing. Right, I want to see how strong the ghoul is. So I wouldn't normally do this. I'd normally just, like, bait and run up and down. The iguana's the scariest part. All right, so the ghoul can then just get in. Because if the ghoul regenerates, then there's no need to be, like, defensive with it. So go to health. He's urgently hungry. We have no meat. If I go unrestrict, will you eat that, though? Yes. Have an iguana. Crunchy's go-go going. Harboring trees have sprouted nearby. These gargle trees grow flesh-like coverings and can feed on corpses and raw meat placed nearby. If well-fed, the grove will continue to grow. In tribal myth, these trees are the embassies of a shapeless god who rules an endless black ocean. The myth ends after the shapeless god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. Just run over your neighbours with a swarm of goblins. I'll be honest, this seems amazing so far. Like, I'm... I'm a little bit blown away with how much has just been added. The music is so good too. Grey power minus three. It feels like the world is sick and dying. We are gonna have to... Can you set Crunchy to just consistently hunt? No, but I can manually get Crunchy to do it. Can't actually set any work things for Crunchy. But I can manually, like, do that. So then Crunchy would... And look, you can actually see the wounds getting healed. Oh yeah, if you hover over the wound, you can see it get healed. That did get healed really, really quickly. Egg, exactly. A couple of these trees are here. Oh, you can just create a corpse stockpile. That is lovely. What an awesome change. But I don't want that because my ghoul will lead up. Alright, since you've been here for quite a while, Stevie thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Stevie also thinks you should give this settlement a name. What should this local settlement be called? Tentacle Love Cult. Love it. Tentacle Love Cult. And our settlement will be called Tensity. I like that. So Sight Stealer Revealed. A twisted creature has appeared out of thin air. Oh my god, it's just in the base. Um, uh, where is everyone? Oh, Crunchy is miles away. Run here. Ah! Dark psychic invisibility. It doesn't look... No, it is attacking. I was just about to say, it doesn't look like it's attacking. No, no, it definitely is. Uh, keep running. Oh, Stevie just got smashed. Deploy turret. Right, my ghoul, I need a zone so my ghoul's not so far away. Stevie, deploy turret. And crunchy. Okay. Okay, I did not expect that. That changes the game a lot. I mean, let's just get it up and see what happens. Crunchy's just like, hmm, is this food? Okay, so now we know when we start a new game, we're going to get one of these for free to study. 
Can I chuck it straight on here? Capture. It will escape soon. But I click on the entity and it says escape interval never. I don't know if that's just because it's injured though. Oh, Stevie's just literally bleeding to death. Great, great. New research available. Your discovery of the site sealer has yielded new insights. You can now research the following other proximity detector. Okay, I wonder if that's because we found one. You'll have walls soon enough. Oh, do you reckon that's what it is? The walls out? Yeah, it probably is, isn't it? Zones. Let's go dumping stockpile here. Clear all. Important. Go straight to the bottom. And we would like chunks. Big old chunks. Give me a chunk, a chunk, and you'll make me happy. You'll make me say... Hot damn! Yes, you will. We weren't year-round growing, were we? No, 30 days. So we need, um... Chunk in the trunk. I love it. Let's get everyone into the hide zone. Are they attacking immediately? Yeah. But luckily we have a semi-functioning base. Um, the next thing we need is a freezer. So I'm actually going to mine that here. And then I'll have the cooler there, question mark. I'm just going to do the cooking in here for the time being. Can I reinstall these? I can. I heard you are being raided by the Crunchies lunch. Oh -ho -ho. I mean, it's very kind. Nice. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Crunchy stay in the home zone. Crunchy's going to have a munch. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, he's a good crunchy. He's a good crunchy. Right, and then we put a barricade in front. And then a wall round. Meaning, if we ever get breached from this side, at least they're not going to instantly target our cooler and ruin our food source. I do need to go remove roof. Uh, oh, remove roof is already there. It might make an interesting kill box design. I thought about that. I wanted to do that. It's like have, imagine you could have like 30 coolers onto a kill box and then just like turn them all on. <laughs> like, you might need a bit more than that, but the idea makes me laugh. The idea of it. I'm excited to see how this new DLC is going to go. So far, I am very excited. Like, I like the atmosphere. I like there's something different. Like, not only do you have, you know, your normal routine, but then you have this... Whatever this is going on at the same time. I find it very exciting. Social free four. So go chat. Look at me trading with everyone. The minute I see someone, wham, bam. Let's have a trade, man. I'm even rhyming. God. I'm a cool customer sometimes. All right, Crunchy's going to go get a donkey. I think a tree sprouted in your rice patch. One sprouted there. I think we might have accidentally cut it down. Oh, yes. So the tree's going to be cut down for me. Good shout. Yes, yes, yes. That is what happened. Very interesting. Right, rice harvest. Praise the rice, chat. Praise the rice. Rice will lead us to victory. Use your tentacle. Suckle up the rice. Suckle, 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 suckle. <laughs> what are your thoughts on underground conduit? Hidden for moving around. They're tougher than regular, but also slower to build and more expensive. God, I didn't even see that. I've been looking at that. I mean, for two steel each, that's perfect, isn't it? Um, I suppose the question is, would I build it? Hidden cables for moving power around. They're tougher than regular conduits. 
No more walls to geothermal. Yeah, good point. Good point. Can they not be hidden? I suppose... I was just about to say, can they not be seen by um, the enemies? I reckon the word hidden would probably answer that for me. They don't zzz and they can't be burnt from what I can see. Yeah, that's probably why they're there. Which is a good idea rather than having these like nasty looking walls coming everywhere, I guess. Need a meal source. Give me a chance, game. Very negative. What's the temperature in here? Minus 10. Oh, very nice. I'll just put the steel stove in here for the moment. We're not trying to change the world. But I think that's going to be how we leave it today. So let me know what you think in the Discord. But this DLC is banging. It is so fun. It is banging. Bye.